will be kept from sinful. The moment you depart from the Word of God, you are committing spiritual suicide. And that's really what happened to the church of God. When you and I are committing sins against God, and when we are confronted, we are still neglecting, rejecting it. Are we wise? No. Wise person, wise Christian, when he is confronted of his sin, he is just humble enough to kneel down and say, Lord, forgive me, I have sinned. The Word of God will keep you from sinning. Dwight Lehman Moody said this, The Bible will keep you from sin, or sin will keep you from the Bible. Bakit nawawala yung taste mo sa Bible? Baka andito tayo ngayon. Hello. Hi. The Bible will keep you from sinning. If you meditate on the Word of God, you love the Word of God, the Bible will keep you from sinning. I mean, it's not the, it's, it doesn't mean na hindi ka naman magkasala. But what it says here, the Bible will push you to confess all your sins and will keep you and will make you away from sin. But if you do not love the Bible, sin is keeping you from the Bible. If your love in the Lord decreases, if your love of God's Word decreases, it may be because the culprit or the, 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 the thing that happened to you is that you are living in sin. What you need to do is like David. Just be humble and say, I have sinned against the Lord. I have committed such sin against the Lord. Oh, how beautiful it is when we love the Lord and live His words. We become wiser than our enemies. We gain knowledge and understanding more than our teachers and leaders. We then are kept from sinful ways in this world. But there is a danger here. Alam mo na lahat to. No? Alam mo na lahat to. Maybe lahat to without an application is just a head knowledge. And this is the warning of it. No? Here's a warning before I close. Warning of Bible head knowledge. Sabi ni J.C. Ryan. He said, let us beware of an unsent and sanctified knowledge of Christianity. It is a dangerous possession, but a fearfully common one in these later days. We may know the Bible intellectually and have no doubt about the truth of its contents. Alam mo, naniniwala ka, God is love, uh, salvation is by faith. We may have our memories when stored with its leading texts. No? Lahat ng mga texts, familiar texts, lahat sa Bible, sa ulado mo, sa memory mo, makukod mo, direct from your memory, John 11, 35, For God so loved the world that He gave His son to God and Son. You know the text in your memory and be able to talk fluently about his leading doctrines, about the Holy Spirit, about God, about creation. You knew about this. And all the time the Bible may have no influence over your hearts and wills and consciences. Oh, wala pala influence ng Bible. Lahat pala dito lang. Wala dito. We may in reality be nothing better than the devils. That's a warning. Knowing the word of God in our head is very dangerous to our health. There's a warning. There's a warning. Knowledge of the Bible without application is dangerous to your This is the prescription. Please read and study your Bible for the sake of your soul. Yes.